Hey, in this video, I'll be reviewing and installing the TUS Lithium Pro battery for my 2020 WR450. It'll be the same as it would be on a YZ450 as well. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified of new content. Let's go ahead and get started. Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, today we'll be uh, installing a battery on the uh, the WR250. It's about two years old now. It's a 2020 model. Um, I'm still recovering from the shoulder surgery, so I'm kind of doing some replacements. I went to go crank it up the other day, and it's, it's battery's super low, so I thought maybe this is a good time to pull out the old lead acid battery that's in there that weighs about five pounds, and I just weighed this little guy. This is the model TL. FP-711. I bought it from Rocky Mountain ATV. It cost about 80 or about 75 bucks. Um, here's a link to it. Um, God, this thing's really, really light. It's uh, it's pretty good. We just kind of look at it up front here. It's really simple. Um, you know, it's got your positive, your negative, and, it's, and one thing it does have is it has a battery charge. You can actually get a status of it. But other than that, super light. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and take the seat off and, uh, and go ahead and install this really quick. So I went ahead and unscrewed uh, the 10 millimeter bolts off the side. We're just go ahead and pull the seat out and prop it up like here. And the other thing I did prior to us going in here is I did pull off the strap, which holds the battery in. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get on and off. But this is pretty simple. I mean, it's just got a uh, negative and positive leads. Let's go ahead and um, Grab a screwdriver here, and we will just uh, go ahead and unscrew the negative. It comes off relatively simple, and nothing really complex here. One thing my bike came with is it did come with this charging cable, so that you could hook an external charger to it. But I'll probably leave that off. Uh, so let's just put this to the side, pull this lead off, and we'll do the exact same thing on the positive side. This battery seems to be a little bit fat in here. So when I went and started this whole process of wanting to replace a battery, I thought this might be a big ordeal. I hadn't done this before on this bike. And um, you know what? Other than getting the seat off, uh, really it's no different than doing something in your car. All right, so we got our positive terminal off here. And so I've taken off, this is the charge. I'll probably leave this off unless we need it for something else. So this is our positive and this is our negative. And so now we've got our battery. We just pull this guy right in. Kind of lean this thing out, pull it out of its, its battery case area down in there. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy. <laughs> Compare, we're replacing this with this. This weighs at least five pounds. Hold on, I'm gonna go weigh. Okay, I just went and weighed this. This weighs 4.6 pounds. This one weighs one. I mean, it is like significant. It's like half the size too. Look how, how much skinnier this thing is. Even on the sides, it's a little, much less tall. And it's, God, it's just so much nicer. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy in. Just slide him right in the slot right here. Just fits right in. God, it's really so much smaller than what was there before. Now, it turns out these bolts are just a little bit thicker than the existing lead so we'll just drill it out just a little bit all right learning as learning as we go here so I had to drill these out just a little bit so the the bolts or the screws that came with it were just a little too big for the existing screws one other thing I had to do while I was fitting this a little bit is realizing this battery is significantly smaller than the one we pulled out and the strapping that was in here um, you know, it just was loose. So the, the, the Tusk battery comes with all of these pads you can put in to kind of put your battery into place here and get it tight how, how you want it here. So in this particular case, we can actually put a couple of these down in here if we wanted to and get it a little bit tighter on the side. I think we're going to be good to go. All right, so I got our box built here with, uh, with one of these pads on the back and on the bottom. And we'll just put in our battery and have it sit there. And once it's in, we got our strap, put it in there, and it fits really nice and snug now. The battery fits in there really good. All right, let's go ahead and wire this thing up. Pretty simple. We'll just put on the, the negative and put these screws through. 
and get that through and drop that onto the terminal like so get it good and snug down in there now these bolts do come with some loctite built on the end of them there so when this battery heats up these terminals heat up this will actually adhere and it'll melt just a little bit all right so let's go ahead and pull this one back go and get him started as well all right so we got our negative we got our positive we're going to put our positive head back on here and that guy is all in there now all right so we are snug down in there we got everybody stacked this guy is strapped in he's all good we got our border here and then we got one on the back as well which kind of makes this guy snug down in here so the last test we need to do about our seat still up is come over here and actually let's put them down a little bit so we can see our stash here we do got some power up here Boom! We are started up. All right, that was, you know, that was a little simpler than I thought it was going to be, but I did not expect to have to drill out the holes. And also, I wasn't expecting the battery, uh, the lithium one, to be so much smaller to have to fit inside of there. So, hey, thank you for your time. Again, that was about 75 bucks on Rocky Mountain ATV and MC. Hey, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit like and click that bell to be notified of new content. Everybody have a great weekend. Thank you for your time.